Hi, today we're going to talk about perk tests. Now you may have heard of perk tests pertaining to a uh, drain field for septic systems. And that's done professionally, but we're going to do a similar routine here for our garden. And the reason that a perk test is important is perk is short for percolation. It tells you how quickly water moves through your soil. Now it depends on where you live in Pierce County or anywhere else you might be viewing this. A lot of it depends on your soil structure. But if you don't know what your soil structure is, you can always test your, per your perk, which is what we're going to do today. In order to do that, you need to dig a one foot hole, one foot in diameter and about one foot deep. And I've already started that since I figure most of you out there know how to dig a hole already. So we'll just take a look in here and show you the hole. You want to get as much soil out and you want the sides to be as straight as possible because you want to get the proper volume of water in here. So that's the first step is actually get this nice hole, measure it. See we got about a foot and about a foot deep. Then we get a marking stake and we're going to put this in the hole. And this is going to be how we're going to measure the percolation of our water. So we get that in there. It's nice and straight. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the hole. I'm going to fill that to the top and then we'll mark it off. So as we're filling this, the best perk test for a garden would be one to two inches per hour. So that means the water level would drop about one to two inches. Now I know that I live in Gravelly Lake and therefore it's probably going to be a lot faster than that. And uh, I've actually started a hole earlier, we're going to look at it in a little bit, and we're going to see just how fast my water percolates in my garden. Now we're getting close to the top. And it's easy to mark off at the top because the water will actually kind of stain the wood. The important thing to remember is if you're above one to two inches is that you have very fast draining soil and that you're going to have to water less frequently, more, more frequently with less amount. Now here we are about at the top and we'll mark it off and it may be hard to see on TV my mark here but I will also show you here where the mark is with this. Okay so now we filled the hole and we're going to use our timer. Now this timer on my watch is at 49 minutes almost 50 minutes and we're gonna go over to the hole over here that I already started. Now I can see where the mark is. The mark is right below my white marker. And if we get our measuring stick, you can see that we're at about four and a half inches. So it looks like here's going to be about five inches per hour, which is above our one to two inches. So what that means I need to do in my garden is that I need to add organic matter and the organic matter is going to help hold soil moisture and nutrients from leaching down. That's also why in these kind of soils that we have, very well draining soils around Lakewood, that you need to add a little more fertilizer, less fertilizer more often because otherwise it will leach down. Now if you have the opposite problem, if you do this test and, you, and it goes less than an inch per hour, you have probably a lot of clay in your soil, it's not well draining. Ironically, what you're going to do is the same, you're going to add organic matter because the organic matter then is going to create more pore space in your soil and allow it to drain better. So that's why so many people recommend adding organic, organic matter to your soils because compost and those kind of things really help any kind of soil. So after you do your perk test, if it's not perfect, just add a little organic matter and you'll be fine. Till next time, this is Peter Punzi, Live Long and Garden.